Hi, this is Chris, and I'm out in Las Vegas today looking at a bocce ball court under construction. person asked if I could do this, and we are in the process of getting started with a shop here in Las Vegas, so part of that is coming and helping people. So let's see what we have here. And I'm going to be as polite in my criticism as possible since I've been doing this work for a very long time. They have certain standards. Okay. The first thing that's wrong here is this person is spending an enormous amount of money in today's construction market to get a frame for pouring concrete that looks like a bent railroad. Okay, I thought it was crooked the first time I looked at it, but it's actually just outright hideous right now. And I'm sure that the person building it did not intend to make it much better. Okay, the frame here is very ribbon-like. It is horrible. This side has also got some very pronounced uh, bends in it. At this stage, given the cost of lumber and all the labor that's gone into it, it should be as straight as an arrow. And it is not. So the concrete that would be poured in to here would come out looking pretty bad. Okay, so the next issue is, I believe these trees are Parkinsonia. It's a very good evergreen desert tree. Takes a lot of cold, obviously takes extreme heat. However, these trees will develop with very large trunks. It would not have taken much thought to realize that leaving these here is a huge mistake when you can simply look at the one in the front. And this has got a lot more growing to do. So you can see as those trunks get to be about that size, they're just going to push the concrete frame and crack it. Push, I mean, they're just going to obliterate it over time. And I probably only about three or four more years. They're not going to benefit have benefit the house either. They're not providing any shade. These trees on this side should be removed. And they should have been removed before the frame was built. What needs to be done now is they need to be removed and a small stump grinder needs to come in, be brought in and grind out the stumps because they will sucker off the roots and make a huge mess. And I can see the good intentions in notching the frame around the tree trunk. Okay, if it was a, some sort of prized specimen plant, great. Okay, and if you're going to go to that much effort to notch the frame around the trunk, can you at least learn how to properly trim a tree? I mean, this is hideous. Every tree has its own um, the, a particular way you have to deal with the cut. So these trees have a habit of tearing. What needed to happen here was a really nice undercut first, then your top cut, and it would have been nice and clean. You don't cut these trees from the top, because what will happen is it will crack, and shockingly as we see, tear all the way down. Since it needs to come out, it's relatively pointless, except, can we think this through? Notching it for the trunk, destroying the leader. So, coming at it from the opposite point of view, you can see just how much tree or trees is in there. And by removing the trees on the house side, 
the trees on the uh, wall side will be able to properly fill in over the next couple years and develop a really nice canopy. There's a lot of dead wood in here and, and bad leaders that can be removed and these trees begin to turn into some really nice shading elements. <sighs> yeah, you can see Buddha here laughing. <laughs> he's looking at the frame and he's thinking, wow, what a bunch of idiots. How could anybody build something that bad with that kind of time and resources? So, that's the frame, that's the trees. Overall, it's a really nice outline. It's a great way to use up some side yard that would have had no great value. Um, I don't have a level with me. I suspect that we need to get a transit to make sure that it's actually level with a transit. I'm questioning the point of putting the concrete frame over this piece of the uh, slab uh, exit from the garage. I think that it should have been a, a concrete saw. It should have been used to cut a couple inches off here and the frame or the, this concrete poured in below that so it tied in better. I'm not really understanding the thinking on that. And so the next issue is you've got all these concrete slabs. Hauling dirt and hauling concrete, especially hauling concrete, out of a job site is very costly. I mean, breaking this up and then taking it with a bobcat or a track hoe and getting it over this wall into some trucks you're, you're into some thousands of dollars so the thought is really good just put the court over this concrete however the problem with that is that if you leave the parkasonia if you leave these trees in here the roots are going to raise these slabs upwards and change the contour of the bocce court. These trees have big roots. This is very hard soil out here. And we can see just by this one example down here what's going to happen. And it won't take that long. For well, We can see a little bit of raising going on up over there. So <clears throat> by removing these trees here and killing off the root system or grinding it out, that enables leaving the slabs here or the sidewalk here. Yeah, you could have some issue from these trees, but um, they're a little bit further away from the concrete and we can already see that it's occurring to this side. These trees have also very little room. You got the foundation of the house. I'm not sure how thick that is or the strength of it. So theoretically the trees would not be lifting any of that up, but it's not a real solid idea of pinning the trees with an aggressive root system between the, the concrete sidewalk of the bocce court and the slab of the house. This seems like a losing idea all the way around. And especially when you consider the expense that's being put into here. And if you're going to go to this level of expense to make a top end bocce ball court, you need to completely restructure the landscape and take advantage of the demolition process. So what's needed here really is probably a new concrete person or a withholding of the funds of this concrete person until this thing's freaking actually straight because right now it's an embarrassment and I would want to see a transit 
Uh, here we have a level. And I'm a little bit suspicious because you have brand new concrete stakes and I'm just wondering about the level of experience and equipment here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it should be level. I mean, they had a level and so it might be level on the top and it's just crooked as hell going along the side. It's close. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so the top end is fairly decent. Of course, then we get to the uh, individual sides. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, so that's a bit of, that's a little too far off. So really what's probably not happened here is they probably not got a laser transit and and got this sighted out well. So yeah, there's about an inch difference there. So yeah, at this point, it needs to be pretty much rebuilt, straight or re properly straightened out with a laser transit.